In this video, we are going to learn how to predict products for combustion reactions. And before we go into how to predict products, we need to first talk about what combustion means and how to recognize it. So combustion means to start something on fire, to burn it with oxygen, with a spark, and start a fire. So the trick is to search for what we call hydrocarbons. A hydrocarbon is really exactly what it kind of sounds like. Hydro is going to be hydrogen and carbon is carbon. So a hydrocarbon is just a really long chain of carbons. And then with hydrogens bonded to it. So it's literally just carbons and hydrogens as a molecule that's hydrocarbon. So this could be a whole bunch of different options. We could have CH4, we could have C3H8. These are all hydrocarbons. And the hydrocarbon is reacting with oxygen gas. Remember, combustion is going to be reacting something with oxygen gas and a spark to start it on fire. It's my drawing of a fire, okay? So when you think of combustion, think of fire. When you're trying to build a fire, right, in the wilderness, you blow into it. You're trying to get that oxygen gas into where that spark is trying to start a fire, and that helps the fire build. As long as there's oxygen gas, that fire will continue to burn. As soon as the oxygen runs out, so does the flame. So we are going to have a hydrocarbon like methane or propane, reacting with oxygen gas, which is O2. And there are very, very specific products for a combustion reaction. Every single combustion reaction has the same exact products. It is going to form carbon dioxide and water every time. So the trick is, you know what oxygen gas looks like, being able to recognize a hydrocarbon. So it can literally be, let's write some more out here. Any number of carbons bonded to any number of hydrogens is going to be a hydrocarbon. And we are going to stick to basically these four, maybe we'll get into C5H12 or C6H14. Um, but these are going to be your very basic hydrocarbons that I'm going to use for this class. Reacting with oxygen gas to form carbon dioxide and water. So no matter which one of these I choose to plug in here, as long as it's reacting with oxygen, you're getting carbon dioxide and water. Don't get it mixed up with single replacement. If I were to put CH4 reacting with O2, a lot of people think that's single replacement because it's an element and a compound. Technically, combustion is a single replacement reaction, but we are acting as if it is not. It's kind of separate in our case because it's a little different when you're determining the products. So don't get this mixed up with single replacement. You have a hydrocarbon reacting with oxygen gas, so the products are going to be carbon dioxide and water. You would not get these same products if you acted as though this was single replacement, okay? So you need to be able to recognize this is the big part, that hydrocarbon reacting with oxygen gas. So let's get into some practice problems and helping you to recognize a combustion as apart from a single replacement. Let's get started um, predicting products for combustion reactions. So the first thing is that we need to get used to recognizing combustion reactions from just looking at the reactants. So I have four different um, reactions here and we need to first go through each one and determine whether it is combustion or not because there are some equations when you are just given the reactants that are going to look like they are combustion if you just glance at them but actually aren't. So remember that a combustion reaction 
has a hydrocarbon. Remember, a hydrocarbon is some sort of carbon and hydrogen molecule reacting with oxygen gas, which is O2. So we need to go through each of these and determine whether it is combustion or not. So let's look at this first one here. We have CH4. We have to ask ourselves, is that a hydrocarbon? And that is, because hydrocarbons, again, are a molecule that contains carbon and hydrogen only, so this is a hydrocarbon. And then we need to see what that hydrocarbon is reacting with. Is it reacting with oxygen? In this case, it is. So that is a combustion reaction. For the second one, we need to ask ourselves if this is a hydrocarbon. In this case, it also is. Carbon and hydrogen in a molecule is a hydrocarbon. No matter what the numbers are, as long as it's just carbon and hydrogen, it's a hydrocarbon. Is it reacting with oxygen? In this case, it's not. It's reacting with water. So therefore, this is not a combustion reaction. Okay, this is going to look more like a double replacement reaction. The next one, this third one, C3H8, is that a hydrocarbon? In this case, it is. Carbon and hydrogen make up a hydrocarbon. Is it reacting with oxygen? In this case, it is. So this is also a combustion reaction. And this last one, C2O3, is that a hydrocarbon? That is not. It does not contain hydrogen with that carbon, so therefore we, don't, we can just stop there. We know automatically this is not a combustion reaction, but again, if we wanted to go further, is there even oxygen by itself anywhere in these reactants? There isn't. So this is not a combustion reaction. This would be more like a single replacement reaction. So we were left with two that were actually combustion. So now we need to go through and actually predict the products. And remember, combustion reactions, no matter what the hydrocarbon is, are all going to have the same exact products. They're all going to form carbon dioxide and water. So this is methane reacting with oxygen. Our products are going to be carbon dioxide and water done. This one here, since this is our other combustion reaction, this is propane reacting with oxygen gas. And again, the products are going to be carbon dioxide and water. It doesn't matter what these subscripts are, the products are always carbon dioxide and water. Now what we would have to do is go through and balance these because obviously they aren't balanced, but we are just focusing on predicting products right now. So now let's try some practice problems. So I've given you three. The first thing you need to do is determine which ones are combustion and which ones are not combustion reactions. So look very carefully. And then for the ones that are combustion reactions, we need to predict their products. So take a second, pause the video, try these on your own, and then hit play when you're ready for the answers. So this first one here, remember combustion reactions are going to be a hydrocarbon reacting with oxygen. We look here, is this a hydrocarbon? This is a hydrocarbon, just carbon and hydrogen, doesn't matter the subscripts. Reacting with oxygen gas, so you should have said yes, this is a combustion reaction. Since this is a combustion reaction, you know that the products are carbon dioxide and water. The second one here, is this a hydrocarbon? Yes, it is, carbon and hydrogen. Reacting with oxygen gas? Why, yes, it is. So that is another combustion reaction. So the products are going to be, surprise, surprise, carbon dioxide and water. This last one here, is this a hydrocarbon? Why, yes, it is. Is it reacting with oxygen? This one is not, it's reacting with carbon dioxide. So this is not a combustion reaction, so we are not going to predict those products. And that's it. Those are combustion reactions.